up GAM fam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Join the GAM fam, it's lit over here. Um, today, I'm doing something a little different because it's Halloween um, and I wanted to do a couple of little horror stories here and there, just sprinkle them in here and there, even though like I get scared pretty easily, but I just wanted to, um, you know, put something different up on my channel. But today I will be reacting to a video by Wanzee Entertainment and it's called True Birthday Horror Story and it's animated. So I'm excited, let's get right into this, here we go. It was December 31st, my birthday. Since my birthday and New Year's coincided, my family decided to make it into one big event. So my parents invited all our family members over. We celebrated at my aunt's house as she was abroad at the time. The house was actually unoccupied most of the year. She hired a person to live there and take care of it. It was big, almost like a mansion, except there wasn't a second floor. It was just very spacious. My family members say the house is haunted, that spirits roam the halls when no one's around. Not to brag, but I was a smart kid. I genuinely didn't believe in ghosts. But that night changed everything. Question, do you guys believe in ghosts? Write down in the comments. If you have any ghost stories that you wanna share, write them down in the comments. It was 10 seconds before midnight. My whole family shouted the countdown while well, I jumped up and ran around the room, waving my arms like an excited little kid. Five, four, three, two, one. New Year's noisemakers sounded, and some of my relatives bashed hands together in jubilation. I could hear cars and motorcycles honking outside as well. We ate after that, chatting amongst ourselves. I, however, was feeling sleepy, and I needed to pee. Putting my drink down on the table, I walked past my cousin, who was playing with my iPad and taking selfies. The hall leading to the bathroom was very short. You could easily get there in five seconds. The door to the bathroom was ornate and heavy. It always made a sound when I closed it, since I wasn't strong enough to close it softly. I felt around the wall to turn on the light switch, and I don't know if it was the lack of sleep or my imagination. But I saw a lady with her back toward me. She had long, black hair that went down to her lower back. And she wore a plain... No, okay, I'm sorry for pausing it, but I have like a little slight story of my own. This reminds me of it. My cousin and I, when we were younger, we went into the bathroom and I remember it so vividly. And the crazy thing is, I don't really believe in this type of stuff, but like... I've seen this type of stuff before. It's so weird. Um, but I remember us going into the bathroom and we closed, we closed the door, we turned off all the lights and we said Bloody Mary three times in, in the mirror. And I, I swear to you, like this, even just saying it out loud, it sounds like it didn't happen, but I don't know, maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me, but she saw it too. But there was a face that came through the mirror. Like, it was wild when I say, <laughs> I, I, I can't even explain to you. If you've done it before and you've seen something, you know what I'm talking about. But like people who have never done it or who have done it and didn't see anything, they would probably think I'm lying. But no, like a face, we saw a face and we ran out the bathroom. But it was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> but yeah, that just reminded me of that. But back to it white dress. She was so pale that she was glowing under the light. In disbelief and utter denial, I wiped my eyes with my free hand and blinked a few times. But she didn't disappear. She was still there, her back facing me. I gently leave? pulled the door closer to me, so close that if I pulled it any closer, it would shut. Taking a deep breath, I opened it again. The lady was still there. Don't tell me she that's slowly grandmother. turned her head, and I immediately closed the door and ran towards my family, who were chatting idly and drinking wine. I wait, 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 I have a guess. I have a guess of who it is. <laughs> I feel like it's 
it's not what he act what he thinks it is. Like I think it's the person who she rented out the house to. It, in the beginning, they said that the aunt rents out the house because she's not there most of the time, so she rents it out to people. So I'm thinking that this is a person that's been renting the house and she didn't know that the person was still there. Um, I don't know, but we'll find out. Sat back down on the sofa, and despite the cold weather, I was sweating. I managed to calm myself down after a few minutes. Suddenly, my cousin screamed, and everyone turned their attention to him. He pointed at my iPad. He looked scared, shocked, and in disbelief. My heart stopped when I saw what he'd caught in his selfies. The same lady, black hair, white dress, pale skin, making her way to the bathroom. I knew he hadn't edited them, since there wasn't any editing software installed on it, except for the included stuff, which was mediocre at best. Not to mention, he can't edit to save his life. In almost every picture he'd taken, she was there, walking. <laughs> he deleted the pictures, and I remembered that I still needed to pee. I didn't want to go back to the bathroom alone, go so I asked my mom to come with me. She was annoyed that I made her open the bathroom door and made her stand next to me while I peed. It still doesn't make sense. If what I saw that day was just my sleep-deprived mind imagining things, then what did my iPad catch that day? Right. Needless to say, I believe in ghosts now. Okay, so I was completely wrong but like I said um yeah um <laughs> I don't know I don't know like and I won't tell anyone who believes in ghosts that they're crazy because like I said I've seen some things where I'm just like am I tripping like am I crazy but I know what I saw you know what I mean like but it's still a little iffy because it's just I don't know <laughs> but yeah um let me know if you guys like these type of stories i can uh react to these more um and write down any horror stories you have or any ghost stories that you might have in the comment section but that was my reaction to that like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video